this is going to be a bit of a different video on the Harry Maguire situation. I feel like I've said everything I can and everything I need to say about Harry Maguire's performances. He is a shadow of himself. He is nowhere near the player that got into Euro 2020 team and the form that he has had sustained for over a year now has been atrocious. I don't need to speak about that anymore. You know everything. You can see it all yourself. And that game last night against Germany, the three-all draw, was the latest example of it. And there's something I think that's extremely important to say here because I think a lot of fingers are getting pointed towards fans for criticising Maguire when there is justification to criticise his performances. We're speaking just purely about how he's playing. He's playing atrocious. Every fan has a right to do that. And I think there's been a lot of, in my opinion, irresponsibility about those close to Maguire who aren't doing what they need to do to help him in this situation because they need to do something. Harry Maguire, after the game last night, the three-all draw, went onto Instagram and said, look, mistakes are part of the game and I apologise. Great fight back in spirit to get us back into the game. Take the positives. The tough times will make us stronger. Three lines. I genuinely, first of all, I want to say, Maguire definitely loves playing for England more than he loves playing for Manchester United, unequivocally. But the reaction to the criticism of Maguire over these last two weeks, there's something I really need to say about that. And look, last night, Rio Ferdinand said this. He said, look, I feel for Harry. Every mistake's being punished and scrutinised, and it comes with a territory, though. He needs to be strong mentally to get through this. Playing with no games at this level always leaves you open. I don't think that's going to help at this particular moment in time. Brandon Williams, that rant that was last week, saying that nobody can attack Harry Maguire. He genuinely doesn't get what the criticism is. Nemanja Matic came out and slammed the trolls. Now, I think Matic has a bit of um, a... Matic is correct to point out the trolls here because I'm saying there is absolutely 100% fair justification to criticise Harry Maguire's performances. Because when it goes further than that, the bomb threat to his house is fucking insane. What mug did that? Ridiculous that things get taken further than football. But to try and suggest, like Brandon Williams did here, that you genuinely don't get it. That's delusion. And that is based on the fact that Brandon Williams played with Maguire. This is based on the fact that Nemanja Matic played with Maguire. Rio Ferdinand's point here is based on the fact that he's a former professional. Maybe he, he understands it a little bit more than I do. But ultimately, it's coming from the top down. Gareth Southgate played Harry Maguire against Germany yesterday when he absolutely should not have done that. And he's standing by his decision even after a performance where Harry Maguire really let England down and should not have been in that starting 11. And had he not been in that starting 11, England probably would have got a different result. Well, maybe it would have got a different result. And for a lot of United fans, this is giving us all flashbacks, right? Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was pretty blind in his just unrelenting loyalty to Harry Maguire. Got Matomane and Fred at that as well. But certain players at Manchester United and it was a massive massive part of his downfall and Gareth Southgate is showing similar signs here with Maguire when Tamori's out there winning Serie A with AC Milan and can't get a sniff in this team and Harry Maguire who's been bang out of form for 14 months is in the team because of what he did back in 2020 that's not good management and I don't personally think what we're seeing now is good friendship either I think this Luke Shaw, I want to explain that. This Luke Shaw interview is the perfect example of that. He came out and said, look, Harry Maguire, he's being criticised more than I've ever seen before in football. Well, let me just pull this one up for you there. The fucking effigy of David Beckham hanging after getting sent off in the 98 World Cup. I think, Luke, you might be going a little bit overboard here. Players are racially abused and you're here saying that, that Harry Maguire is criticised more than... Nah, that's a fucking joke. Let's, let's not go crazy. But it's more to, be, more to do with what Luke Shaw had to say. That Harry's an amazing player, an amazing character. He's taken a lot of stick, probably more than I've ever seen in football. He never hides away. He's always there. You can have people who hide away from it and don't want to be in the spotlight. He keeps putting himself in the spotlight. It shows the strength and character he's got. Everybody knows he's an unbelievable player. At the moment, the confidence might not be there because it could feel like the whole world is against him. It's tough for him. But as us, as players and staff are all behind him, He's a very important player. 
It shows Gareth's trust because he played in both games and look at in the Euros of what he's done. People need to understand he's a big part of this England team and have to accept it. I don't think Luke Shaw realises. I think the damage that this is kind of doing to the mentality of Harry Maguire. Now, I think Luke Shaw is... Um, he can relate to what's going on with Maguire because, mate, Luke Shaw's got it. I mean, he's got it 10 times worse than Maguire's ever got it from his manager, from the person who's supposed to be supporting him from the top. Harry Maguire's still got that support from all the players around him and all the managers. Well, not all the managers. Andrew Ten Hag's dropped him. And I'll speak about that in a bit. But Harry Maguire, he looks like a broken individual at the moment. And all we're seeing is Rio Ferdinand, Brandon Williams, Nemanja Matic, Luke Shaw, Gareth Southgate, all of them coming out and saying, no, he's in the team. I don't, I don't get the criticism. What do you mean you don't get the criticism? I think sometimes your best friend is the person who tells you you fucked up or you need help. And I think what we're in, at, at this point in time, there's a responsibility to the likes of Luke Shaw, Brandon Williams, Gareth Southgate, close friends and family, to Harry Maguire, they maybe, you know what, you do need a bit of time away from the spotlight because he is drowning right now. And this idea there, what Luke Shaw said, oh, look, he's, um, sorry, he's, look, he never hides away. He's always there. He's, he's constantly putting himself in the spotlight. It's the strength and the character he's got. And he constantly plays shit. It's not a show of strength. It's a show of stubbornness, yes. But it's weird. Harry Maguire at this point, in my opinion, needs help. He's a broken man and just constantly put Eric Ten Hag, right? He, in my opinion, has handled this better. Eric Ten Hag has, he backed Harry Maguire to be his captain during the preseason. I kind of disagree with that, but he went and he stood behind his captain. He said, look, this, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Clean slate here. Doesn't matter what's happened in the past. Clean slate. Go and show me what you can do against Brighton and Brentford. Well, we know what happened against Brighton and Brentford. Eric Ten Hag said, well, I'm not going to get stuck in that circle. You've been playing crap. You're going on the bench. Then he came back off the bench against Sociedad four games later and was atrocious and got dropped again for Sheriff. Manchester United won again. That's management. That's not being blinded by what's happened previously. And I've said this so many times in United People's TV. It's a concept. What got you here won't get you there. Harry Maguire being in the team of the tournament in Euro 2020. Brilliant. Fantastic. That's in 2020. This is 2022. Shit moves on. And everybody, I think, is all, all, it seems like all of his friends and all of his family and all his players who play alongside him saying, nah, man, ignore everything that everybody's saying. You're great. You're great. And he's being told that by all the people that he trusts. So he still believes it himself. But his confidence is just drowning him from the inside or lack of. And he's sinking. They're watching a friend that some of the, they're supposed to be caring for sink. And all they can do is keep coming out and supporting him. Maybe they're, take, maybe they're saying something different behind the scenes, right? Maybe they are. But they need to at this point. Because if we're as fans getting sort of attacked for how much we're criticising Harry Maguire with the Manu Matic coming out here, as I say, slamming the trolls and people who are going too far. Yeah, you're right to do that, Nemanja. But we've all... I think I've been pretty damn fair in my criticism. I might have gone a little bit overboard, but I still think it's all based on performances. I don't take it any further than that. I just do it on what I'm seeing on the pitch week in, week out for a long, long time. I'm basing my opinion over a long period of time, not a knee jerk to one or two games. And instead of the players having the same attitude than that, everybody is just coming out and saying, you know what? I don't get it. Why is anyone criticizing him? He doesn't deserve any criticism whatsoever. He's in this team, as look, Luke Shaw said down there. People need to understand he's a big part of the England team and have to just accept it. I personally feel that Harry Maguire being told all of this by his close friends and, and, and players who play alongside him, that's part of the problem. I think that's part of the, the reason why he's, he can't find himself again. He needs to be taken out of the spotlight. Eric Ten Hag has done that, and I hopefully that helps him. But something needs to help. Somebody, something needs to help Harry Maguire. He is drowning. And if Gareth Southgate decides to play him 
for England at the World Cup, the only thing you could probably anticipate is a catastrophe. At this, all the evidence that we're seeing, because footballers play in form, it will be a catastrophe for Maguire that you may not recover from. So I think there's a responsibility that these players and, and, and close friends and family to Maguire have to take. And just as much as they want to point the finger at us saying, you can't, you're overly harsh and overly criticizing him. How are you letting that person that you're supposed to be caring about drown in public so much? Do something about it.